What it do, Dream Team? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with Australia's minimum wage gets increased pay rise. Australia, y'all y'all don't gotta put it in our faces. How much better y'all left than paying y'all's people than us? See, y'all get, bro, it's like y'all minimum wage get increased and increased and increased and increased. And I'm sitting over here, I think our federal minimum wage is still 725. Now, most jobs are going to pay more than that, but the fact that it's still sitting at seven twenty-five is a problem. It's an absolute problem. Y'all make like twenty-four an hour. Tw minimum what? Yeah. Bro, Australia where the money at? You you want to make some money? Australia where it's at. But we gonna listen to him talk about this pay rise, uh, and you might see a little jealousy, a little envy cross my face, but but don't worry about that. I'm happy for you guys. Just know that at the end of the day, I'm happy for you. Before we dive in, however, uh, if you happen to enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe or like. Also, if you would like to make a video suggestion of your own, you can subscribe to Patreon and request, or in the description section, there's a link where I take premium as well as free request, or you can just drop it right down here in the comment section. However, premium and Patreon requests will be prioritized. But let's talk about this money, Australia. Millions of Australian workers will receive a pay rise from July. The That's extra crazy. cash coinciding with tax cuts for every Ooh. wage earner. The Fair Work Commission also indicating it's what now- What you mean? So it's like you giving us money, but then it's tax cuts? Like y'all cutting, y'all giving us money and cutting our taxes? Or y'all giving us money, but y'all taking more taxes? Talk to me. Cuts for every wage earner. The Fair Work Commission also indicating it's now working on a plan to boost the pay packets of sectors dominated by women. Shop assistants, cleaners, hospitality, healthcare and community workers all to receive a pay packet boost. To increase so nice. the national minimum wage and all modern award minimum wage rates by 3.75%. The minimum oh, yeah. hourly rate, currently $23.23, .23, to increase to $24.10 from July 1st, taking the minimum weekly wage to just under $916, up $33, an above inflation decision that'll see 2.6 million Australians on 121 different awards better off. Yeah, yeah. You getting almost a dollar raise. It's almost a dollar raise. In your your minimum wage was already high. Twenty three. It's crazy. I, let me let me compare that. What would twenty four dollars? I'm just gonna do twenty four. I know it's a little bit more. Look like an American for Australian to U.S. That is sixteen dollars in the in the United States. Sixteen US dollars an hour. This is minimum wage. This is you're starting out at this. Sixteen dollars an hour. That would be gorgeous, Heather. That would be beautiful. That would be it would please a lot of American citizens. A lot of American citizens. Uh yeah, we obviously at 16, I, I don't think minimum wage getting raised to that over here, which it really should be to live in, to, in today's USA. You almost need 16 an hour. Um, but my, shout out Australia. Y'all looking after the people. Y'all caring for the people. Not only that, but you always looking forward to see how can we better help even more. How can we look out for them even more? That's what it sounds like. Now, I know y'all got houses getting really expensive over there. I know y'all got a housing crisis. I know you got situations where things are expensive. But y'all still managing to pay your citizens. Million Australians on 121 different awards better off. Any day working people go forward in terms of a real pay increase is a good day. It will Facts. do little to take further inflationary pressure out of the economy and that was our objective. The Fair Work Commission indicating workers in highly feminised sectors like early childhood education, home care and disability workers, psychologists and the community sector will receive even higher pay rises next year. We would have liked to see the Commission make an interim pay increase. Well, I mean, how much longer are women expected to wait? Ooh. Although everywhere. Hey, look, the women's here. We, hey, we ain't trying to wait. We appreciate, yeah, it's coming. 
We know it's coming, but we don't wait it long enough. Hi. It's taking too long. How long do we got to wait to get this money y'all say y'all going to give us to get this pay rise that we should be getting? What we waiting? I thought, you know, I'm watching the video. I'm thinking, oh, they interview women. The women going to be, like, excited and everything. Uh-uh. They like, what, what are we excited for? All you doing is raising our pay to what we've been deserving for so long. So, And y'all taking too long to get it there. So we ain't finna be excited for y'all giving us what we deserve. I, I, y'all should have been giving us this the whole time. And y'all need to hurry up and give it to us. That's, that's what it seems like, you feel me? Well, I mean, how much longer are women expected to wait? Although every worker will receive a tax cut from July 1 in that's the nick of time for many. The financial regulator finding almost half of Australians with debt have struggled to make repayments in the past Ooh. 12 months, citing cost of living pressures, reduced income and unexpected expenses. We want people to earn more and to keep more of what they earn. Preach. And on July 1, Preach. both of those things will happen. But what the Fair Work Commission and tax cuts deliver, the Reserve Bank can take away with higher interest rates, although Treasury right. still believes inflation will fall through the year. Andrew Proben, Nine News. Hey, Albanese, hey, you done said the words that everybody with a job want to hear. We want people to earn more and keep more of what they earn. That, that, uh, that's what we want. The money we get from these jobs, we want to put in our pockets and we want to keep in our pockets. It's, it, we, ain't, we ain't trying to pay tax. Uh, we trying to pay as little taxes as possible. Try to keep, keep it in the pockets. We, we don't want to give it up. Uh, but he said, that ain't what they giving. The, what, the bank would not certain bank, the governmental bank, whatever it's called, Treasury, I think that was the word of, or National Reserve, can actually take it back through higher inflation or, uh, uh, you'd be like, what you talking about? But they do believe inflation is going to fall, so that's going to be more p money in the pockets of Australian workers, um, which, once again, Australian looking out for their people, absolutely love that. Australia looking out for their its people, absolutely love that uh people deserve to get paid what they're worth um and so that's awesome and then going through uh i think the world is going through a cost of living pressure like gee it, it's ridiculous especially for the young us young ones are, are just looking at this and it's like we we don't get enough money to pay we don't get we, we barely make no money to survive so you expect us to have a family, you expect us to be able to buy a home, have a car, all this. We're barely surviving. And it's frustrating, but uh, hopefully inflation does go down, keep more money in the pockets. And I'm a little jealous. Uh, I wish I was getting that much money. Uh, y'all can help me if y'all want to run this video up, but that's all we have. If you guys enjoyed that, please don't forget to subscribe, get a video a thumbs up, and check out the next one. It's your boy D. Neal, out.